Hi guys, welcome back. If this is your first time here, my name is Leia and thank you for being here. Thank you for clicking on today's video. So a little bit about myself. I am a current a flight attendant here in the United States for a big airline and right now I'm about to start a three-day trip. It kind of feels great to say a three-day trip because if you watch any of my flight attendant videos, you know I'm a four-day trip queen. But for February, I'm only doing three days and I kind of like it that way. I kind of like the feeling of really only be gone truly like one day, which would be tomorrow because I was home today and then I'll be home the last day. And I just need a change of scenery, a change of things. I'm trying to switch things up. So again, I have a three day trip. We overnight in Austin tonight, Austin, Texas, and then Vegas our second night and we're home like by almost five o'clock a little before five o'clock on day three so it's actually a pretty good trip and it's pretty productive hours wise as well i am here very very early like 40 minutes and i'm not in uniform i have my bags right here so i'm not in uniform because my first uh, leg actually starts with a deadhead which means you're just flying as a passenger so we're just being deadheaded up to seattle and then we work the flight from seattle to austin we have about a two hour sit when we get to Seattle, so I will just change when I get there. It's kind of nice not to be in uniform. I usually always deadhead in uniform, but this time I just decided to be, again, really comfortable, really casual, only because, um, I don't know, I just, I just wanted to be comfortable. And then I did get a princess delivery today, so Andrew actually drove up to the Bay Area with me from Fresno where we live, and he dropped me off um, here, so I don't even have my car on me, and when we end our trip, I will just fly back down. He's off today on Sundays. So he was able to drive me up and then I'll just fly back down. I love anytime somebody can come with me. It makes it not as long and tiring and I didn't have to drive, which was so cool. I got to actually like sit in the passenger seat and just like, I don't know, we had a really good time. Um, we are always so busy, but we had a great conversation. We had a really good ride and I actually really enjoyed it and I feel really good today. And I haven't really felt this great coming to work. You guys know my struggles. I've struggled a lot coming to work, so. I was really thankful that he was able to come to me and he knows how thankful I am because I express it all the time, but I really was. I was really, really, really thankful. So for now, I'm just going to sit here. I'm just sitting in front of the big window I watching like the airplanes. So loud. I waited for that announcement to be over because they're so loud, but for now, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the planes until I have to head to the gate. I really hope that you guys enjoy this uh, flight attendant vlog. Please do subscribe to my channel if you have not already. It definitely does help me out, guys. Please do subscribe, and I'd love to have you guys here. I'm trying to bring more content to my channel. I have mentioned it is a little bit hard right now that I still don't have my own house where I cannot do content like inside my home or my everyday life just because there's so much going on around me and I don't have my own space. But soon, guys, very, very soon, I know a lot of you have asked for house updates. I'm trying to work on it, but there really hasn't been any really updates to show you. We still are only at the framing process, but we do have full roofing. But as soon as I get more info about our house, I will definitely show you guys or let you guys know. We are expected to move in still the end of March or possibly early April now. So that has gone pushed back a little bit. But yeah, I hope to have more content out for you guys soon. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you definitely should. I'll go ahead and put it on the screen for you, my Instagram name. But I am so sore. My sister finally got a gym membership and we went yesterday. We did a leg day and my legs, especially like my glutes, because I always work out my bum, is so freaking sore as I'm walking. I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sore. <laughs> also, per usual, California airports are still pretty empty, especially SFO. There's never anybody here. The only time you actually see people here is like when they're boarding a flight or deplaning. Other than that, you never see anybody here in SFO. It's like a ghost town.
just got to Seattle and it's so crazy on the weather change. Like it goes from like sunny California to super gloomy and rainy Seattle like this. I currently came downstairs. I'm talking quiet because there's a lot of offices around here um, to change into uniform. All right guys, that was a, such a quick, quick change. <laughs> My purse is kind of under here so it looks so bulky on that side. <laughs> but I'm ready to go, fully in uniform. Ready to start this three day. I'm actually gonna go upstairs and get my favorite soup. It's that chicken and rice soup that I got last time. I've gotten it a couple times. It's like under $5 and it's just the best little soup to get you through. It's delicious and it's super affordable. So I'm gonna go upstairs right now and go grab that soup. Okay, so if you're ever in Seattle and wondering what I'm talking about, this is the place I'm talking about. Such good stuff. And on the sides, that chicken and rice soup for $4.95. So bomb guys you gotta try it so we just got on the plane we're actually quite early because the plane landed early so we technically don't even have to be here for another 20 minutes but i'm gonna go ahead and start um like pre-flighting my equipment and then i'm gonna eat my soup and sandwich uh for my dinner or like late lunch <laughs> What's up y'all? So we just um, got to our rooms here in Austin. It feels so great to be here. Um, Austin is one of my favorite cities and I don't come here quite often. I really don't know why I don't bid them, but I don't bid, ag bid against them. They're just not really like, I know exactly the kind of trips I look for and they're never, they never come through here, but I'm really happy to be here. And I have to show you guys our swanky dank hotel. It is so bougie and it's so cute and I wanna show you guys exactly what it looks like. So I'm gonna flip the camera and I'm gonna start from like when we're walking in um, from the front door. So this is like the cute little living room area. So cute, so bougie. And it's like an open floor plan, you know? I'm right here, hey in the mirror. <laughs> and then walking this way, we get to a really cool looking bathroom. I mean, I wish it was a tub, but I mean, party, party in the shower. <laughs> cute bathroom, just, you know, basic, but cute, big. I like big. And then look at this bed. Like, am I practically laying on the floor? <laughs> it's a king. I love the king, but it's a massive bed and it's all the way on the floor. I was just saying how much my legs hurt from the gym and I'm like literally gonna be squatting just to get on the bed. You know, another TV. Look at these cute little chandeliers. I love that. And then uh, you can't really tell right now because it's dark, but have a big, nice city uh, view because we do stay downtown. So I know we're not really here that long. We have like 15 and a half hours. Um, gonna start changing and going to bed. I do wanna go walk around tomorrow morning. I'm really trying to look for a grocery store. Again, I haven't been here in a while and every time I come, I've always gone down like, I think it's Sixth Street or whatever, like to the bars and stuff. And I've never actually gone grocery shopping here. <laughs> so I'm excited to probably go to the grocery store and then maybe grab lunch. They do have some really good like acai bowl places if you guys are into acai bowls or acai, 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 however you say them. I know a lot of people say them differently. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is endless possibilities. So I'm going to go ahead and get some sleep. Great flight. Great crew, guys. Great crew. I've had a lot of struggling um, trips lately. And when you have a good crew, it's just a, like, I just feel so much better about myself and just trying to stay positive and trying to get through every single trip. I already feel great because I'm on a three day and not a four day. But my crew is the bomb. Like the girls and the guy, they're like, the shit like they're such cool people and so thankful it makes me feel like happier so i'll say good night to you guys and i'll see you tomorrow for day good morning you guys from austin texas it is such a beautiful morning and i wish i had sunglasses i don't know how many times i tell myself to bring sunglasses and a hat and it seems to be the one thing that i always forget but i have to be like leia remember your damn sunglasses and hat because i just wish i had it for the sun because I'm always squinting. Even though it's cold, it's like 50 something outside. I have my sweatita on. <laughs> the sun is still in my eyes. So yeah, remind me guys, sunglasses and a hat. I need to bring that on my trips. But I'm currently walking to the Trader Joe's up the street because I didn't have a chance to go yesterday. I was a little pressed for time. Oh, it's so loud. This bus is so loud. But yeah, guys, I did not have enough time to go stop at any grocery store. So I'm kind of 
like don't really have much food on me so I just want to get like a salad or an apple or a banana or something like that just to have in my bag but it feels great to be here guys I'm used to coming in the summertime when it's extremely extremely humid here in Austin and right now it's beautiful it's fresh air it's cool and it's nice and chilly and it's great to come take a walk it's like 15 minutes up the street so that's where I'm going um but I definitely need to walk and get going and, and get my mental health under control, making a lot of little changes in my life that you will be seeing and you'll be like, huh, who is she? <laughs> so yeah, walking to Trader Joe's and it feels awesome. So I go into a lot of Trader Joe's, but I never go in the morning. And this is when you have to come guys, in the morning because everything is so stocked. It's so nice to get what you need and like it hasn't been touched. It's awesome. And then the people of Austin are awesome. Everyone here is so, so nice. I want to totally go in here for Jack and Sin because literally they're my children. I don't know. Maybe I will. I'm actually going to try it out. I'll see what they got. I don't have a lot of space in my lunch pill or my, you know, suitcase, but we'll see what they got. Let's check it out. All right. So they did kind of like persuade me to buy something there. I ended up buying this um, for my dogs. It, oh shit. It actually is supposed to go. <laughs> I just dropped my spoon. It's supposed to go in their like water you put it in their water um i'm sorry not water food i'm all over the place it's supposed to go in their food and it's good for either jack's like hip dysplasia or like sin skin because sin's been getting like um like really really dry skin so that's why i bought it it was like 20 bucks but i thought i would try it if you guys have heard of this please let me know she also gave me samples so i'm like okay for 20 i'm always you know looking out for my babies or my children and then i just stopped at this juice bar place and got breakfast this is just a dragon fruit bowl it's got like pineapples coconuts, strawberries, and bananas. So that's my breakfast. And I'm a little in a hurry because I have to start getting back to um, my hotel and getting ready for work. I have like an hour and a half left and I gotta wash my hair. So I'm gonna try to make this fast and get out of here because I'm still like a 20 minute walk away. Okay, just got to my room before I start showering. I wanna show you really quick what I got at Trader Joe's. Um, love these things. I currently just bought the big uh, turmeric one at Costco, but this is a ginger one, which is really good for your stomach. They're $1.99, got that. I'll probably drink that um, today. And I love these. I really don't know how good they are, but they're just the Parmesan, like the eggplant Parmesan. You put it in the oven on the airplane. Works really, really good. I got this quiche for tomorrow morning. Um, again, don't know how healthy they are, but I need something. Um, like in a way kind of heavy. Um, I got this for today, but sometimes these don't always like, cause they're so light and like fresh. I want something like heavy. I mean, I still have that mentality that I gotta get rid of. Um, I love this crunchy slaw. It has a little bit different packaging here in Texas, but I got that for either today or tomorrow. And I picked up this carrot juice. It was again, $1.99. Um, it's an organic carrot juice. And I'm gonna give that a try as well because I was actually gonna buy another juice from this place, but they're around like five, six bucks where this was $2. So I went with the Trader Joe's one. And then in here, I just got an apple and then um, two uh, bananas. So I was gonna say bananas. And I have a huge sweet tooth. You guys probably know that. So I got these dark chocolate peanut butter cups. Yeah, for the airplane. And again, this is for my dog. She gave me two free samples, which was awesome. Um, I'm gonna start putting a couple of drops of this in their food. Hopefully it helps Sin's um, skin. And then Jack's like, he's getting hip dysplasia. And she said it's good for uh, like skin and coat, but also has like high omega. So again, hopefully that works, but I'm gonna start getting ready for work. All right guys, so I am all ready for day two. I'm going up to Seattle today and then we do like a quick um, plane swap and then we go down to Vegas. My layover is Vegas tonight. Um, it's pretty short though. We only have like 11 and a half hours, um, but this is the fit for today. You guys have seen it. It's just the skirt with the, uh, it's called a gelée and I'm not wearing it with the belt this time. I don't really want to deal with belts today, but um, this is the fit and I'm already packed. I got ready in like an hour, which is actually pretty quickly for me, but I mean, I'm not even really doing much makeup. I'm really just doing my brows. Um, I have lash extensions on and I put some concealer and some blush. That was really all I did. And um, I'm gonna start heading down again. My bags are packed. Um, let's go get the day started. Day two of our trip. Hey guys, so we are on the plane. They're quickly gonna start boarding and they're calling me already. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, it's way in the back. Yes. Okay, like I was saying, like four hours and 20 minute flight time today to Seattle. Welcome to Las Vegas. Hey guys, so we are just getting to our layover here in Vegas. It was just such a long, oh, I thought I had my badge on and I was gonna take it off, but I already took it off. 
Um, yeah, it was such a long day. I didn't really vlog much today because we had like a little over um, a four hour flight to um, Seattle from Austin. And then we had the quickest turn. We actually had um, reserves and even a supervisor pre-board our flight coming down to Vegas because we just, um, it's not like we blocked in late. We were actually on time. It's just that we had a lot of um, like, like children on board. So it took a, a long time. These moms were traveling alone with multiple children. So it takes a long time to get your stuff, to get the kids, to get everyone um, situated. So it did take us a long time. And then we landed on a completely different uh, concourse. So we had to take like the train to get to a, our concourse to come to Vegas. So leaving Seattle was just such a quick turnaround. But nonetheless, we just got here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take my ginger shot that I got at Trader Joe's and then I'm gonna save my immunity one uh, for tomorrow. These are the ones that I'd said I bought at Costco in the big pack, um, if you're interested. But yeah, I'm just really, really tired. I'm so um, sore still from uh, working out. And today, like I did, I did, it says I did 40 minutes of working out. That's including my walk this morning and then just being on the plane. Almost, literally almost 700 activity. Like, I don't know if it's like calories or what are they? move like your move goal almost 700 40 minutes exercise 14 stand hours it's just been such a long day and we have a short overnight here we only have like 11 and a half hours and we have a 745 van and it's already nine o'clock so i'm going to be turning in early uh tonight a thursday night turn up <laughs> but i'm just going to put my stuff inside um thankfully we actually get like little kitchens today so i have my little fridgey um this i'm gonna keep frozen because it's supposed to be frozen throw that in the freezer so it's ready to go for tomorrow and i'm gonna eat that and then my carrot juice in the morning that's my breakfast and yeah tomorrow we just go up to seattle again everything goes through the motherland of seattle and then um down to sfo and we're done and i'm trying to catch a united flight i actually got in contact with my old coworker who actually works for united now and she gave me the flight load which is so awesome i love having connections when when you work for a regional guys um a lot of people don't stay at regionals they move up so i have friends that are like at american um southwest jet blue united and it's kind of nice because then you can just ask them hey can you give me the flight load and they always do they're so nice so yeah i should make that flight but i'm gonna go ahead and book myself tonight and just kind of wind down and get ready for bed so i'll see you guys tomorrow for our day three and it feels amazing to say that and not four <laughs> so tomorrow is go home day on day three good morning guys so today is day three go home day whoop whoop fist pump to that i don't even know where i got all this fist pumping stuff i never used to do that but i have to create little celebrations and excitements for myself it's so early in the morning Right now we're 725. We have a 745 van for a nine o'clock departure up to Seattle. And then we sit for three hours in Seattle and I absolutely hate sitting. If I um, could choose what I hate the most is early sh like shows, like 5 a.m. shows and sitting forever at an airport for like your next flight because I mean, it, it wrecks you. You could go to the sleep room and like lay down, but you're not really like getting actual sleep. Like you're hearing the announcements, there's a lot going on. So it definitely like tires you out. So um, the good thing is that I'm not driving home today. I'm actually flying back. I already listed myself on a United flight. It's kind of nice not to have to drive home and it makes the sit like okay like i don't feel like i'm gonna be exhausted driving home because i'm not driving home <laughs> anyways um everything is ready to go ready to get my day started i feel good i feel positive i feel upbeat um i slept well i slept out good at least seven hours so it's like perfect for me i should be able to make it today um we have very very light loads which is you know it's good and bad it's bad because you know we want to make revenue but it's sometimes good because you do have those flights where you have like a lot of people like one of our flights yesterday did not have a lot of people but we had a lot of like single moms who had multiple children and it made it really really hard and i felt so bad for these moms because it is so hard traveling with children especially when you're outnumbered like one a parent to like three to four kids and that's we had like two moms like that and then another family with like three or four kids just you know mom and dad and i don't know how these women do it but you know sometimes you don't have a choice and that's pretty much their situation they didn't have a choice 
but um, it was a little bit more busy with the kids yesterday, even though we didn't have a lot of people, but today should be pretty smooth. Um, but I'll update you at the end of the day to see how it actually is going or how it actually went. So we just got to our beautiful airplanes. I'm on my way to the exit rows to, um, what am I gonna do, pre-flight everything. We always have to pre-flight before every single, um, like when you get on a new aircraft, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do, pre-flight all my emergency equipment making sure everything uh, for the B position we have to be on the exit rows so I'm making sure all the exit signs and stuff are all good which they look all great two hour flight time to Seattle and then the three hour sit but guys I got sprinkles cupcakes this morning I'm so excited I'm gonna show you my little cupcake I love sprinkles I love sprinkles sprinkles Hey guys, so I'm in SFO, um, currently boarding to get to Fresno. Got my boarding pass, almost home, um, one more leg, but it's a quick one. It's a, like a 35 minute flight, so I'm about to get on the airplane um, right now and get home. I'm so excited, and then Andrew's picking me up as soon as we land in Fresno. Um, I'm here in the United Terminal, because United is literally the only one that flies to Fresno right now from where I live. So thank you United and all your flight attendants and pilots as always for the ride. Right, guys so i finally made it back to fresno i'm here at fat fresno air terminal <laughs> i'm waiting for andrew i'm outside because it's just nice and i'm gonna you know pull down my mask a little bit to get some fresh air but that does end this trip guys thank you so much for watching i think andrew and i are gonna go get some tacos right now it feels great to be home and it feels great not to have driven oh my god i'm so glad i didn't have to drive today but it was such a quick flight 29 minutes but anyways guys uh thanks again for watching thanks for tuning in i'll catch you guys in my next video bye